So we could also ask students to consider whether the answer to a question is either positive or negative before evaluating it. And they can use the algebra disks to explain their reasoning and whether the answer is positive or negative without actually finding out the answer first. So for example, if we were looking at 10 plus negative 6, the children are going to be thinking, are there more positives or are there more negatives? Now if they're not sure, then they would actually model it. But what we would want them to be able to do is consider that when they're evaluating that, they've got more positives than negatives, so the answer will be positive. But let's have a look at what happens. So we've got 10 These are the zero pairs that we can just ignore because they're zero. Count how many are left. One, two, three, four, and they are positive. So that really supports my understanding of when I'm evaluating this, how big my answer is going to be. And is it going to be positive or is it going to be 